What is going on? Charles Botenston here. So we are going to be talking about something that everyone is talking about, and that's obviously Jordan Peterson. He's starting to get a little bit more popular, to say the least. And he says a couple of things. Obviously, he talks about the lobsters. Everyone knows about that. You know, the crustacean that is one of the oldest brains that we have in common, the ancestry. Uh, number one. Number two is with lobsters is that if you've ever had... Actually, that's crabs. Crabs are the ones that if... One starts crawling out of the pot and, you know, obviously there's like 10 or 15 in there that are caught. They're going to start grabbing at each other and they're going to pull each other down. That's a great analogy. But Jordan also brings up something that's very interesting and he keeps on talking about it. And the reason being he talks about it is because, and he talks about cleaning your room. And why does he say that? And it's one of those things, that, there's a couple of reasons. He's, he's sort of alluded to it, which is that is the basis to getting your life together. If your room, where you stay, where you live is a mess, what else is? You know, it, it's the same thing as like, what, how, does your, how does your desktop look? You know, how does your, how does your office look? You know, what does your closet look like? It, and this is, so there's the, obviously the, the psychological, and then you have the practical. So the psychological is, how is your room? Is it nice? Because you can't tell me that you want to change the world. You can't tell me that this is the best idea for me in the world, in the nation, if you can't even clean your room, number one. Number two is the practical reason. I was actually thinking about this because I look around my apartment and I used to just collect a bunch of shit. And I was like, and, and then I moved. And then I said, you know what? I don't have enough actual you know, room to say, create, meditate journal, do my affirmation. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go minimalistic. Great book about that minimalism. But not only that is I do the exact same thing every single day. It's boring. No one likes it. It's not exciting. It's not sexy. There's nothing different about it. But if I can't do the same thing, which is I put my clothes in the same order, I get my stuff together at the exact same time, I have my gym clothes in the exact same place, I have my work clothes in the exact same place, so when I wake up in the morning, it's already out, it's already done. I know where it is. I'm not searching for things. My shoes are in the same area, my socks are in the same area, my bag is in the same area, my toothbrush, deodorant, all that is in the exact same area. And I look at that as well as if you don't know where your things are, you're using willpower to find it. You're also using time to find out, okay, where, what should I wear today? You know, where's, where's my gym clothes? Where's my gym bag? These minor things that just add up because these are so small, so minute that if we don't have that in place, in order, ready to go, know where it is, what else in our life? We can't even tackle the bigger things. That's really what it comes down to. You know, Jordan's just talking about the smallest things in life and then from there, you just start layering it. You say, okay, clean your room, okay? You do that consistently, okay? From there, then you can start working on other things like your health or your relationships or your mindset or your job. Those way bigger, much harder areas to tackle. But if you come home to a dirty house and you just throw shit everywhere, that's really what, that, it's, it's also a respect level. You know, you don't really respect the area that you're actually living, number one. Number two is the practical level, so you know where things are, so you don't waste time finding out where things are. You put it in the exact same spot, okay? The areas that you wanna have variety are unexpected things that happen in the environment or in the marketplace, areas like that. That's where you wanna have the variety. The variety is not how the, the types of clothes you're wearing or where everything is in your apartment or what kind of food you're eating. No, you wanna have no variety there. And I know you're gonna say, well, that's boring, Charles. That's exactly how you want it. So you can start tackling higher and higher and higher and higher issues and you get, say, a speaking gig that doesn't go the right way or you go to a speaking gig and the microphone doesn't work, you know? Those are, the big those are the big variables that you should be able to be concentrating on. Gary Vaynerchuk goes and he doesn't really like the way the Q&A is going. Those, are the, those variables are the, the areas that he needs to be able to conquer. So clean your room, that's number one. And obviously the psychological, he, he mentioned it in one of the, the videos. He said, listen, you're 21 years old, you're telling me you know more about how to, say, change the world 
what does your apartment look like? What is your what does your home look like? And I'm supposed to listen to you if you can't even clean your own room. You know, it sounds like, oh, that's funny. That's very child. No, it's serious. So that's my takeaway from it. Leave your comments below on obviously what your takeaway is. There's there's just there's just a lot of um, you know, it's, it's, just a, it's just a small area and I'll, I'll give you this example is that uh, I was talking to this guy down uh, before this and he was, he was saying, he just recently became single so he was talking about, uh, talk, he was on a date with this girl and she was talking about how the dating has changed uh, dramatically to say the least. So she was giving an example where brought the guy home and the guy peed on her toilet seat. And I was talking to him and I'm like, that's the basics to dating. The basics to dating is lift the seat. Like, if you can't even do that, do you really expect a second date? Do you really expect to see her again if you can't do the basics? So I hope that helped a little bit. Obviously subscribe to the video. So what we're gonna be doing from now on is obviously a, not obviously, I'm gonna be telling you, a video every single day and uh, putting it out, it's obviously gonna be much higher quality, video, audio, everything. You guys leave the comments below on what you wanna talk about. We're gonna be going live every once in a while. Talk to you guys soon, have an awesome day.